This is your Express Briefing for Wednesday, August 7th. For the San Antonio Express News, I'm Candice Avila Garcia. Become a subscriber and read more of these headlines at expressnews.com. The South San ISD Board will discuss withdrawing consent for the appointment of a TEA monitor at a meeting tonight. After months of tension with the state agency, over her criticism of how a board majority operates. In other education news, Harlandale ISD trustees will go before the TEA in Austin to defend against an impeding state takeover. Expect mostly sunny skies and a high of 101. Bear County will spend $655,000 on new voting machines in order to maintain the current number of polling sites countywide. The county is transitioning to a new voter center system in which any voter can cast a ballot at any polling site in the county on election day. The number of polling sites was set to reduce to 275 from 287. But some community advocates were concerned that consolidating precincts could reduce voter turnout. Commissioner Kevin Wolf cast the only vote against purchasing extra voting machines, calling it unnecessary. <music> Texas native Mary Ann Williamson is among the Democratic presidential candidates more aggressively seeking the religious vote. Williamson from Houston says she's seen evidence that the religious left has been reinvigorated by President Trump, who stoked racial tensions, separated families at the border, and dismantled environmental protections. The party has long tried to court black churches, but left-leaning evangelicals are becoming more increasingly active in the political sphere, too. Williamson may not be on the trail much longer, but Pete Bettingig is among other candidates to seek support there. <music> Texas House Speaker Dennis Bonin apologized Tuesday for saying terrible things at a meeting with a conservative foe. Empowered Texans CEO Michael Quinn Sullivan claimed that Bonin encouraged the organization to oppose 10 fellow Republicans in next year's elections in exchange for media credentials. Sullivan threatened to release audio from the meeting. Bonin admitted he said terrible things that are embarrassing and begged fellow lawmakers for forgiveness. The retrial began Tuesday in the murder case that sparked a feud between former Bear County District Attorney Nicola Hood and current DA Joe Gonzalez. Miguel Martinez is accused of fatally shooting 33-year-old Laura Carter five times in the head in 2015. Testimony established at the first trial that Carter was addicted to heroin, and Special Prosecutor Jason Goss told the jury Tuesday that she had purchased it from Martinez for some time. Gonzalez and Christian Henriksen defended Martinez in the first trial, which ground to a halt when prosecutors LaHood and Goss and the defense agreed to a mistrial, giving no reason. The State Bar of Texas later ruled LaHood committed professional misconduct. In the things you need to know for today, Representative Joaquin Castro tweeted a list of San Antonio's most influential President Trump donors and their employers, saying their donations are fueling a campaign of hate. San Antonio-based Agassi has closed its online store, and employees say the retailer is also shutting stores at three malls in the area. San Antonio Aviation Director Russ Handy will step down at the end of the year, a few months before the city officials begin determining the airport's long-range plan. UTSA's Andrew Martell, a converted safety, is among the standouts at linebacker for the Roadrunners so far in practice. 
Ahead of his weekend shows at the Majestic Theater, George Lopez reflected on the mass shootings in El Paso and Dayton and how his comedy act is mostly free of politics. Now to the fun stuff. The team behind Pearl's favorite, Southerly Fine Food and Brewery, is opening a restaurant at the Rim. Read more details about it on expressnews.com. The renovation of historic Tobin Hill home features a fairy tale roof line outside and new wheelchair accessible features inside. Check out this story by Express News writer Richard Marini right now on our website. A camp for disabled children and the ongoing search for a missing woman highlight our photos of the week. Take a look at them on our subscriber site, expressnews.com. Want to learn more about what you just heard? Visit expressnews.com for the full story on all of these headlines and more. That's your Express Briefing for Wednesday, August 7th. Get San Antonio's top headlines daily. Subscribe on Spotify, Apple, or wherever you get your podcasts. For the San Antonio Express News, I'm Candice Avila Garcia. Thank you.